Hi, welcome back to Work In Work Out. My name's Charles and today's video uh, is about if you're starting your fitness journey uh, and you want to maybe go online onto YouTube, which is a major, major place where people go and uh, look for sort of fitness motivation and guidance uh, in today's world. But if you're a beginner, you know, where do you start? So this video is all about uh, me telling you about who I follow and the reasons that I follow them, why I think they're good and it could help you depend on your kind of workout regime. I've got stuff for beginners, intermediate, body weight, calisthenics, powerlifting, uh, and a few things in between. Uh, but stick with me in this video and I'll show you exactly who I follow and why. Okay, so I've done your homework for you and here's my cheat sheet. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, before we do, uh, do drop a like, a share, and subscribe. Uh, likes really help the channel grow. And if you know anyone else that can benefit from this, these tips slash shortcuts uh, to uh, finding out who to follow uh, to get you on that path to getting some really good information, then please do share the video and subscribe so that you know when new content comes out. Right, with the housekeeping out of the way. Um, so the first person I'm going to mention uh, is uh, Joe Wicks. Maybe you've heard of him, I'm not sure, maybe you haven't. Um, he's a guy that does kind of a lot of body weight, uh, kettlebells, uh, movement, HIT, that's high intensity training, um, and or high intensity interval training, as some people uh, are now calling it. Um, and he's a really good kind of easy entryway in, into fitness. He's got a number of books out there. Uh, in fact, I'll be hoping to do a, a book review on his, so do uh, tune back in for that later. Um, but Joe Wicks, he's, he's, he's pretty good. Um, some really easy stuff. I mean, he, he goes all the way from uh, fitness for kids, so he does uh, one in the morning, um, all the way to you know, things for adults and, and down to meal and diet plan, stuff that you can make really easily in, in 15 minutes. Um, he's really engaging, uh, really fun, uh, and you know he's got a lot of material out there, not just on YouTube. So Joe Wicks uh, is worth checking out. Next up, Athlean X, probably the biggest fitness channel on YouTube. Um, I don't know anyone bigger than this guy. I think he's got something like 10 million subscribers, which is way more than some commercial networks out there. Like you know if you're into sports, for example, like I think ESPN and. Uh, uh, some, some other channels, I'm not sure how many Sky I have, um, but this guy's got about 10 million followers. Um, but sometimes when you see a lot of views on YouTube, um, a lot of videos with a lot of views, or a lot of channels with a lot of views, you know, they're posting all sorts of like weird and shocking and, 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 and clickbaity stuff. Uh, this guy on uh, Athlean X, his name's Jeff Cavalier, and Okay, there might be some clickbait and stuff in there, but it's all really good quality, really good information. And he's got stuff right away for beginners, intermediates, and more advanced. He also shows some alternatives um, for certain exercises, which helps your progressions, but also shows you some easier way to do things. And also, he's got a lot of videos showing what to avoid when you're doing certain exercises. And that will help you uh, with injury, because I know he works with uh, professional athletes as well. So if they're coming back from an injury or they want to train in a safe way, like an athlete uh, and want to avoid injury, then he'll say, right, well, instead of maybe doing a, a lap pull down like this behind the head, maybe you should try and do it like this and pull to your stomach or something like that. Yeah, just, just different ideas. Um, he's got his own sort of gym setup, which is really, really nice. And he's got a ton of content that you'll find really, really useful. I can't recommend him enough. I think he's the number one guy uh, on the YouTube for when it comes to fitness. So do check, check out Athlean X. Uh, I'll put uh, uh, some links in the description below for all the people that I, I mention. Next up is Official Thenex. Uh, so that's run by a guy by the name of Chris Herrier. Um, he's an amazing guy. He's got some really good videos with some really good backing music. And he's got, uh, now he, him himself, he, he comes from a calisthenics background. Um, and 
his videos, some of them could be like quite a vast time, some stuff he does, like, you know, push-ups that look like de defying gravity, uh, you know, like planche push-ups and handstand push-ups, and he does a lot of work on the on bars, pull-ups, chin-ups, muscle-ups, that sort of thing. But he does have some stuff for beginners, so if you want to work your way into calisthenics, then um, Chris Herrier on his official Thenx, I think he's got two channels as well, so one's called Chris Herrier under his name, but the main one, uh, which has got, last time I looked, about 8 million followers, so again, another really big name. Um, but it's a big name with a big following because he puts out quality content consistently. So that's another one worth checking out. Next, we have uh, Fitness FAQs. This guy is no nonsense, straight to the point, quality content again. His background, again, is uh, calisthenics. So this is useful for you guys that are maybe stuck on lockdown, stuck at home. Um, the reason I say that is because with a lot of calisthenics, um, you can actually do the work, even the starting work. So if you're beginning or you're intermediate, um, with, it's just based on your body weight. Now, ideally you want equipment um, to do things like a, a, like L sit, so you need a, a bar for that. But there's a lot of calisthenic work you can do um, at home with your body weight, then you can improvise with things like chairs, sofas, if you want to do dips. Um, but ultimately, maybe you need a floor on a wall. Maybe you're doing a handstand on the wall, something like that. Um, but uh, this guy on um, Fitness FAQs puts out really good content. He does a few collabs with a few different other channels as well. Worth checking out. I can't recommend it enough. Next up um, is Minus the Gym. Now, again, this one's gonna be particularly relevant for all you guys at home during this COVID-19 lockout. Um, Minus the Gym is all about um, a home workout, but um, he doesn't use a ton of equipment. So I do home workouts and I've got some equipment. I don't know how much equipment um, the guy in Minus the Gym has, but, um, I think he's got a few pieces, but he typically doesn't show like loads of loads of stuff. Um, so again, a lot of his stuff is body weight, and as a beginner, for example, or even intermediate, uh, you can follow along with a lot of his exercises, um, and I think you can benefit from that one quite a lot. And it's all uh, in his home, um, so it's in settings that you'd be familiar with because you can then go and replicate that in your home as well. Next up. Austin Dunham. Austin has got a ton of content on YouTube. He's been going for a while now, so you can see some of his before and after shots, be it on Instagram or indeed on YouTube. And he started off as a skinny kid, um, and you know he's grown to a great physique. Again, he's a calisthenics uh, athlete. Um, some really good upper body strength. I think one of his specialities is pull-ups. So if you like pull-ups, maybe that's what you want to develop and you're figuring out, you know, who should I follow? Um, Austin Dunham is a really good uh, uh, channel, really good person to follow. Um, he can do some amazing uh, pull-ups. Um, he's got really good strength there, and he's progressed that even into weighted uh, pull-ups as well. But he does more than just pull-ups, you know, he does. Um, levers, handstands, uh, you, you name it he can pretty much do it. And with the amount of volume that he's got out there, you can actually see his progression over the years as he's put on size, as he's increased his strength and also his skill and ability. Next up, uh, calisthenic movement. Now, when I started my fitness journey, one of the very first channels I came across was this one, calisthenic movement, check it out. Um, it's two guys uh, in great shape, my gosh. Um, when you perhaps look at them, I can imagine they're wearing t-shirts, they're much like two skinny guys. Um, but they're ripped to shreds, um, really, really strong athletes. And what I really like about their channel is the detail they go into, the quality of the content, you know, the camera work, the setting. Um, sometimes it's outdoors, sometimes it's indoors, sometimes it's at home. I mean, they've got a few sort of COVID-19 slash I'm stuck at home type exercise that you could improvise with using things like tables and beds and, and all sorts. Check it out. Um, but calisthenic movement is a really good 
um, place to start if you want to follow somebody on YouTube to find out uh, what exercises can you do. And you know their stuff, I'd say, again, goes across the range from beginner to intermediate to advanced. So depending on where you are in your journey, they can really help you out. Uh, next up, a guy who's on the rise. Uh, his name is Artem, let me get this right, so I'm just reading, Artem Morozov. I hope I got that right. Um, now he, again, is another amazing athlete. Um, if you look at him, he looks really skinny, but don't let that fool you. It's all toned, high density fiber muscles. Um, if you just look at his sort of bumper or, or like his trailer for his channel, like uh, that he's got in his videos, that's got some ama amazing movements in there. Like I think one where he's into power bars, doing a one handed hold where his legs are in the air and it's just one hand on, on the bar and the camera's below, amazing. Um, but he's, again, I think calisthenics, and you can tell it's a bit of a calisthenic theme with a lot of what I'm mentioning, just because that's an area that I lean towards. I still do um, some, some weights. Uh, I do stuff at home. I used to go to the gym as well. When gyms were open, I'll probably be returning to the gym, but I've got my home gym as well. So I try and mix everything in, and some of what I'm recommending to you covers that spectrum of what I'm interested in, but there is a lean towards calisthenics, obviously. Um, but yeah, Artem Morozov, uh, again, he's got some great instructional videos. I remember his early videos um, were um, subtitled in English and he was speaking in Russian. Um, I'm not sure if he was working on his English skills or if they were always there or if he, or if he was catering towards the Russian market initially. But now uh, for you in uh, sort of Western Europe and, and the States and other English speaking places, he's got a lot of content out there in English that you can understand. Um, and with him, uh, his stuff is amazing. I think of all the calisthenic athletes, I'd probably put him more towards the side of gymnastics. Um, there's a continuum of fitness, um, and you know, you've got like your, your kind of strong men on one side, um, and then you've got kind of maybe got gymnastics on the other side, and then in between, you've got bodybuilding, calisthenics, um, uh, powerlifting. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Um, you've got all these different sort of disciplines um, and he does calisthenics uh, but a lot of it is actually very close to gymnastics you know so this guy's going to be good with the body weight uh, good on the rings as are some of the other names i mentioned by the way um but i think he even has got a few videos with gymnasts and you'll see the amazing strength that gymnasts have um i've got a newfound respect from watching his channel i always admire gymnasts but you know you get to see a bit more of that on, on his channel and it's really, really good stuff. Um, so do check out him. Next up, uh, gravity transformation. Now, if you like facts, figures, science, um, data-led decision-making, maybe that's what you do in your day job and you like to exercise that when working at in the gym. In my last uh, 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 place where I was working, uh, there was one guy and I called him a scientist because you know he had the meal plans laid out as you should. Um, and he used to track everything in a spreadsheet and it was really, really good stuff. Um, so gravity transformation um, shows you really good examples, um, shows you some really good workouts. They've got meal plans and, and, and fitness regimes that you can follow. Uh, but a lot of what um, he puts out there is all science-based facts and information. So if you're not sure, well, you know, is this YouTuber telling me the truth or something like that? You know, he uses studies which you can go and some of it I'm sure you can verify uh, yourself. Um, I'm not sure if you'd want to in terms of you know, going to the university and stuff, but if you want that information, um, then that channel is really, really good for it. So do check out that. Um, so gravity transformation. Uh, next up. Now moving towards the strongman side of the continuum of fitness and exercises. Um, Eddie Hall, so he's a former uh, world's strongest man. In fact, the way I like to think about it is actually, he's the world's strongest man. Not in terms of having the current title, I believe that belongs to Martin Lissies, congratulations to him. And I think before Martin was um, Hathor Bjornsson, uh, who's kind of got the controversial new deadlift um, uh, a record at 501 kilograms, which he did at home, so there's a bit of controversy around that, especially between him and Eddie. And now they're talking about fight, fight, fight. Maybe I'll do a video on what's going on between those two. Um, but anyway, with Eddie Hall, um, 
uh, he's got a great channel. He's fun. He's engaging. He's all over the world. Uh, one, you know, he's doing all sorts of things. Like he's doing a challenge against um, uh, uh, an arm wrestling champion. I think it's middleweight. But my gosh, I mean, arm wrestling is such a specific kind of sport. As somebody who's a far smaller framed person than Eddie Hall, because Eddie Hall's like, you know, probably well over three hundred pounds. Um, he uh, he could still lose to somebody that's an arm wrestling specialist because that amount of muscle that they train um, is so specific and gets super tight. Devon Lerat is a uh, is a really good arm wrestling um, uh, former champion. I don't think he's the current champion. But anyway, going back to Eddie Hall. Eddie Hall's got a great channel. It's really fun. Um, and he's doing all sorts of different challenges. He holds a number of different world records and um, official world records, such as a deadlift. Uh, I think he's got one for the overhead press, or something that he did in cross fit as well. Um, he's a great athlete. Um, don't let his size fool you. He's slimming down because of this boxing match that's coming up with half Paul Bjornsson. But, you know, he used to be a, a competition swimmer and he's still got a lot of those skills for a man of his size. It's just amazing. Um, and even the start to his videos is, is, is really funny as well. You should check that out. Um, he's got a Thanos in it and he, he smites Thanos because Thanos um, uh, clicks away um, I think was it um, his food and he wasn't very happy just stuff like that but anyway you'll love it you'll love it do check out uh, Eddie the Beast Hall next up um, so that was 10 but I've got a special mention um, I've got a special mention the last one I'd like to uh, uh, throw in as a bonus um, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Follow Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, he does have his own channel on YouTube. He's also got um, an Instagram feed as well that you can check out. But the reason I mention Arnold is on his YouTube channel, it's got some exercise bits in there. It's got some stuff that's recent. Obviously, he's an older man now at the moment. And obviously, he's still very busy, still very fit. Um, a lot of what's on his channel is a range of different things to do with like his film background and some of the other projects he's been working on and things that he does in, in his life. But um, you can follow his channel if, if you like, but specifically what I'm referring to is um, if you follow Arnold's content, because his content is so much bigger, um, excuse me, than his channel. So if you look at his content, if you want motivation, if you want, you know, how to work out with the right intensity, um, there's a number of videos out there by other people in the YouTube universe on Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it's really good quality content. Unfortunately, I wish it was all in one place on his channel, but it's not. So it's a little tip I'm giving you from me to you. Um, his stuff exists on other people's pages. So if you use him as a search term, um, you'll see some really, really good content. Some of it from, uh, in fact, most of it from back in the day, you know, when he was Mr. Uh, Multiple Winner, Mr. Olympia. Um, and his wisdom, his knowledge, his dedication, his refusal to, to say no, uh, his comments about, you know, you have to shock the muscle in order to get, see muscle growth, things like that. Um, it's just gold, um, gold. So I can't recommend um, following Arnold Schwarzenegger enough. Definitely check him out. So not just his channel, but also if you just type him in as a search term, you can see some really good content coming from other people uh, that value the work that he does as well. Right, so that's my 10 tips with the bonus at the end of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, if you like the video, do drop a like, it does help. Um, share and subscribe. Um, and I will see you next time on Working Workout. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Working Workout TV. That's Working Workout TV on Instagram, where I post some regular and uh, content there too.